What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to a short video, kind of like a theory video, on Lally's game, the story Lally's game, uh, in the book Lally's game, of course. Um, we're going to be talking about who the main villain of Lally's game is, and you've probably guessed it, I'm going to say it is Eleanor, um, and there is reasoning behind it. Obviously, we don't know if Eleanor is going to come back in Tales from the Pizzaplex. Eleanor seemed to have a big part in frailty, at least. I mean, that was kind of like a past Eleanor victim, while this is kind of like more Eleanor involved, which is kind of confusing because this story takes place pretty much after the events of Security Breach, I would say, because the Pizzaplex was around when Cade was only a child. Now, that could mean that Eleanor is back. I don't know, there's gonna have to be something that is making the things that are happening in these stories happen, so Eleanor could be back. She was only trapped in a bad memory, remember? She wasn't actually completely dead. So there is probably a way that she can come back, but we'll probably talk about that in a different video. Leave your theories as well in the comments below. Uh, but we're gonna turn to something interesting that not a lot of people have actually like properly picked up on or actually researched, and that is the actual Phasma Freud's books. There is a connection already, potentially, to Lally's game. So, this is Prankster. This is the 11th book, as you can see, Phasma Freud's at number 11. Oh, Phasma Freud's number 11, Prankster. This is the epilogue, and this is the the, the big ending epilogue uh, where Larson finally defeats Eleanor and the Stitch Wraith and blah blah blah. Um, and in this epilogue, Basically, Larson is killing Eleanor in multiple different uh, ball pit memories or whatever. So, here's the thing. There is a trunk here. <laughs> so I'm gonna read you this thing. So, Larson emerged into a dark room. Something metal brushed against his cheek. It felt like it could be the pull chain for a light fixture. He reached up and pulled it and a bare dim bulb cast a faint glow over the room. The walls were bare wood and sloped like the contours of a roof and the room was cluttered with cardboard boxes and plastic tubs labelled winter clothes, Christmas decorations and fishing poles slash tackle. There, were, there, there was an old rocking chair and a table full of knickknacks, figurines, a large brass candelabra, a glass paperweight, the kind of stuff that nobody really needed but uh, that people had a hard time letting go of for some reason. A large antique trunk sat in the far left corner of the room. Larson had a feeling that the trunk was hiding something other than its useless bric-a-brac. With dread, he walked towards it. Eleanor was lying curled up in the trunk with her knees hugged to her chest. Her eyes flew open. So here's the thing, right? Uh, there, are, there are two ways that this, that this can fit in. So obviously, all of these are memories. Like, we've had uh, a Dance With Me kind of flashback. Uh, I think there was a Blackbird one. Uh, what else was there? I can't quite remember. We There were loads of different flashbacks to different Phasma Fright stories, where there are victims and stuff, and the ball pit memories and stuff, blah blah blah. Uh, this one doesn't really fit in. You could fit it in with two things. It could either be, firstly, count the ways, and the reason I'd say count the ways, uh, it, I think that's the most prevalent in Phasma Frights, is because it says winter clothes, Christmas decorations, Count the Ways takes place during Christmas, so that is one thing it could be. Thing is, there's never mention of any attic or anything, and there's never mention of any trunk. The thing is, Grandpa was a collector, a collector of random things. So there was an old rocking chair, a table full of knickknacks, figurines, a large brass candelabra, a glass paperweight. Uh, the kind of stuff that nobody really needed, but that people had a hard time letting go of for some reason. That line is is there. So, someone is a collector. I think Grandpa is the one who is the collector in this attic. I feel like this could be Grandpa's attic um, because of Christmas and because he was a collector and there's loads of useless things here. So that's possible. The other possibility, of course, is Lally's game, and I think it is a huge possibility, uh, even though I don't know if I would like it or not, but it was kind of foreshadowing like, hey, in the future there's going to be a story with a trunk in an attic and Eleanor is going to be a part of it. Uh, I think that's basically what it's saying if this is Lally's game. The reason it could be Lally's game is because it is mentioned 
several times, and I mean a lot of times, in Lally's game, which we're going to look at here, that there is an attic. There are 31 results in this book for an attic, so they talk about how there's an attic in the house, and Cade puts the, the, the trunk in the darkest corner of the attic. Let's look back at this far left corner of the room. We, oh, I mean, we don't know if that's the lot of the um, the darkest corner of the attic, but possibly could be. Um, and yeah, they like clearly it's it's referencing Lally's game here, unless it's all just kind of like a red herring. And I don't know why they would do that. I have no idea why they would do that, but clearly, clearly they are talking about Lally's game. I think so. What does that mean for Lally's game? Well, we know that Cade, I don't think, I don't think Cade is innocent at all. We know that at the end of the story, you know, he has his new wife, Debbie. Let's have a look. Uh, this is the big twist of Lally's game, you know, uh, that Cade reached the top of the staircase leading to the attic in his new house, another attic reference there. Uh, three boxes, he looked across the attic at his beautiful fiance. how could he have gone so lucky? Debbie was gorgeous. So, there was two possibilities, I think. Either Cade is completely, like, just, just insane and doing this all on purpose, getting new wives and killing them, uh, using the lally. Or, Cade is somehow possessed by something, either the lally or the shadow, possibly. And the shadow is interesting because we have seen the shadow in Fazbear Frights. So there's a lot of crossover, I think, between Fazbear Frights and Tales from the Pizza Plex. And I think that a lot of people are saying that this supposed shadow that appeared in, you know, Hide and Seek, it appeared in You're the Band. I think this supposed shadow um, represents Eleanor in some way or is Eleanor in some way. I actually think, like, here's a mini theory here and you can tell me if I'm wrong. It probably is wrong. It's just kind of like a hypothesis. I think maybe Eleanor is the physical form of, of the Eleanor entity, but the shadow um, is like kind of like the other, the actual form. Like the shadow is the heart and the Eleanor is the body. Uh, the thing is, that's kind of hard because all of it's kind of made out of agony or whatever, so you can't really say for sure. But um, there's definitely something interesting going on with this shadow. Let's read the last part of this story. Um, Thunder rumbled. As the skies darkened even more, the attic was sweat, sweat, swathed. Sorry, I don't know that word. <laughs> in somber shadows, nothing but blackness could be seen in the vast space until two small pinpoints of light peeked up over the top of the old trunk. So I definitely think that the... I mean, the... Unless the two pinpoints of light are like Larson and Eleanor, no, I, I don't know. I think they are eyes. They have to be eyes. We don't see um, like souls represented as pinpoints of light in the series, so I think that these have to be kind of like these have to be eyes uh, of the shadow. So I do think that obviously something is possessing or controlling Lally because it is explained multiple times that Lally is unable to move, or Lally was unable to move in the game that Cade played at the Pizzaplex. So that is something to note. Uh, I do think that Eleanor is behind it. Uh, I just want a bit more of an explanation, and I kind of don't like it because it might mean that Eleanor is back. Uh... <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching, tell me guys what you think about all of this, do you like the fact that Eleanor might be back, do you think that Eleanor is coming back, tell me in the comments below, yeah, thank you guys for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video, goodbye.